Yes, I've got Story in the building. What are you saying, bro? What's going on? What's your, going on? Your first ever radio yeah, show, yeah? Yeah, man, Jeez. we're in the building, we're in the building. Congratulations <laughs> on that, firstly. But listen, I want the people to get to know you a bit better. 100. So you grew up in South Korea, right? Yeah, that's what, right. What was that like growing up, growing up there? Um, well, I came here when I was about three years old because I'm from France, from Paris. Seen, so yeah. um, family came over here and... Um, Raised in South Norwood in Croydon, so that's where I'm originally from, really. So yeah, there's a lot of like musical influences there, but like, when would you say you realised your passion for music? Um, to be honest with you, um, this was about three years ago, I'll say, 2019. I started mm. to realise I wanted to do try something new, and um, picked up rapping and wanted to just perfect my sound so lockdown really helped as well mm. put, doing that so put me in that that like position you were in the first time that you was like you know i'm gonna write a song like what was what was your surroundings like what, what was the situation um i think it was just trying to to see if i can do a track was just my aim um i used to write 16 bars all the time and rap up with my friends and and then i just thought let me just try a track then once once i've done a track I liked it and um, I worked on doing like a project which was my target um, which then helped me to to kickstart what I wanted to do and find my sound during the lockdown because I was able to perfect my craft and my mm. s you know how I want to approach the music scene so um, that was it really um, yeah a lot of up-and-coming artists use like YouTube beats type beats was you yeah. was you typing in type beats is that how you yeah hundred percent I was what trying type to beats? go on go on um, <laughs> what, what was it saying? <laughs> um, it would be mostly like Young Fug type beats, Future okay. type beats, a lot of wave trap wave beats. Mm -hmm. I like melodic drill as well sometimes. Um, but yeah, definitely on the wave trap. Um, yeah. I hear that. Let, let's get into Memories though. What, yeah. what is that song all about? So Memories, um, it's kind of uh, self-explanatory. Uh, I'm just talking about um, my memories reminiscing on past uh, events that happened in my life and um, yeah just try to put a body of work into it yeah. and just you know express myself on the track really scene let's get straight into it this is memories by story Nah, that was hard still, Come I can't on. lie. <laughs> One of my friends, big, oh, big up to Julia, just messaged through saying, yeah, he's sick. <laughs> when I told you, she love. ain't done that before, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so it's all love, I appreciate it. You're, do, you're doing love. bits, thank I can't you, lie. You. So you've been releasing officially since like 2020, but I heard you say that you started taking music seriously like 2019 times. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started at 2019 um, mm. and then 2020, I started taking it seriously. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, just recently, Memories, just, just now, uh, it's on my up and coming, well, um, my recent mixtape that's out right now, Horizon. Oh, um, all platforms at the moment. So that's my debut mixtape. And um, we're on 15,000 streams right now Come on. on Spotify. So T Tell us a bit about this this project then. What was the concept behind it? Or was it kind of just a thing where you wanted to like put out a whole load of songs? So basically, my approach was a five track EP. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had so many, I had so much music to, to release. I thought, you know what, it will make sense to pull it as a project, as my own portfolio. That's how I, I came up, I, I approached it like a, a portfolio so yeah. people mm -hmm. can understand who I am, where I come from, what, you know, direction I'm trying to head in this um, music industry and and take it from there. So, yeah, yeah. You. so yeah. since since um 2019, how has your journey been so far like in the music industry? Like, what, what, what is your take on it? Um, at the moment, I've learned so much on how to be independent and uh, rely on... Um, fully independent, yeah? Jeez, yeah, fully independent, on. you know. Um, yeah, so uh, just learning how to put your music out in the right places and market marketing yourself, which was key. Um, and stay consistent all the time. Yeah. Do you know what I always find? Like people, un up and coming artists always say that balance is one of the hardest yeah. things to get. Like, because obviously it's a it's a hustle 100%. on the side. You got to be doing your other things. Like, how That's are you it. finding like balancing the music amongst everything else? Um, just setting myself a target, a budget. Um, you know, last year I only put out one music video, and I was like, ah, oh, how can I call myself an artist? Mm. I approached this year thinking it's twelve months of the year. If I can put out about eight to ten videos, 
that's a good year. Jeez, yeah, that's you know, banging. Thinking that about is banging. It. <laughs> so already, um, I got a mixtape that's out. I just released another single, um, a freestyle last gonna well, be just playing Saturday. That yeah, yeah. Soon. Um, and yeah, I got more videos to come really. So I'm just trying to take each month as it comes. I want I want to know a bit about your inspirations. Mm. Like, who influences <coughs> you as an artist? Um, as an artist growing up listening to a lot of Eminem, 50 Cent, mm. um, a lot of Nas storytellers. Mm. I like to, you know, to hear um, a story and, and, you know, subject matter that matters to me in my yeah, music. Yeah, so I like to, to put that in my music a lot. So, you know, um, yeah, so you can understand where I'm coming from in my music. A hundred. See this next track with me. With me. With me. But you said it with like W-I-T. Yeah. How do you want me to say it? Nah, with me is cool. It's just that I, I was just saying uh, with me. Like, with me. Uh, yeah, yeah no, like I mean, just, you know. Me. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah. Tell, <laughs> tell us a bit about this chat. Um, this one's a bit different. So um, when I rec was recording this, um, I did like a high-pitched voice on a hook and I thought it wasn't going to work. So uh, me and my engineer, I mean, he was laughing at me at one point. <laughs> but then he was like, nah, it will work, it will work. And uh, when he when he mixed it, mastered it, yeah, I had to put this on a on a mixtape. That was gonna be a single, but I had to put it on a mixtape. Yeah, it up, just yeah. made sense. So big up, bro, man. If you're listening, big <laughs> up, bro. Every time, if it weren't for you, won't be here. Sheesh. You know. So yeah, love every time, my bro. Right, this is on Horizon. Go check it out on all platforms. This is with me story. Oh. Nah, 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 that one was <laughs> hard, dude. Come on, come on. The Love. high pitch part, I can't lie, I wanted to drop that bomb. Like, yeah. Literally, <laughs> literally too cold, bro. Yeah, love, love. <laughs> Aye, we were talking about your writing process, isn't it? Yeah. If you go to the studio of anything, can you talk me through, like, what um, you're thinking when you start writing? So, more, more time, I just throw on a beat. It's weird because when I'm driving around, I just put a beat on and mm. I just start freestyling. And if I come up with something, I pull over. <laughs> <laughs> and I just start writing so majority of my music it's all been when I've been driving and I'm just pulling over just finishing what I wanted to say so yeah, it's all freestyles really that I just jot down together quickly and try to perfect my sound and my, my flow so what do you get the melody first or do you get the lyric like um, what one comes first melodies or lyrics or do you actually just freestyle it I both freestyle it all yeah at okay, top of see. my head kind of thing yeah so it depends on the beat though. If I have to approach it with just the flow, then I, you know, I have to mime it and just, but yeah. more, more, yeah. No, more time I have to, yeah, it's, it's just from the head, yeah. So. All right, let's talk about the future. Mm. What, what's the future got in store for Story? Um, just keep being consistent, mm -hmm. um, releasing more music, um, growing my fan base. That's the main thing as well. Mm -hmm. And to, to achieve, I don't know. Greatness, greatness. Yeah, greatness. greatness. Yeah, this already is a moment to me. I, it's my first time on radio, yeah. so come on, come you on. know this. Uh, this Landmark. is a moment I'm living. So, yeah, more to come. Any, any like do you releases? Like I know you just released, but is there any like set in stone? Yeah. So um, I got a tune called uh, "Born Sinner" um, on the way. Um, looking to release that in June. Come so on. mid summer, June. Yeah, yeah, summer. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So I got that one in in a in a stash at the moment. Alright, cool. I want you to leave the people with three words to describe you as an artist, so they can have that in their head and they know know what to think when they hear a story. What's the three words? Um, I'm putting you on the spot, innit? Yeah. Um, storyteller. Mm -hmm. Um. You know. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't you know. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. Um, deep, deep. Definitely a storyteller and um, just wavy, you know? Wavy, yeah, wavy. You know ah, what I mean? Cool. Just a mixture with wave and realness put together. Wavy, you know I mean? <laughs> real storyteller. Yeah, there Love you go. That. There That's you go. it. All right, cool. Tell the people where they can find you on socials. Plug yourself, bro. So um, my social media, so uh, Instagram, uh, that's stories. So that story with an IE underscore artist. Um, and yeah, story with an IE again on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, and uh, yeah, that's it. Right, let's lead out with this last track, Heart Cold Freestyle. Yeah, you just released this one. Yeah, tell us a bit about it before we go into um, it. Um, I've just freestyled it top of my head. It was, you know, 
one of them one of them ones where I was in the booth and my engineer was like, let's throw this one on. And I just tried something different. So No, that's talent right there. Yeah. Right, let's get into this one. Hot cold freestyle story. Let's go. Big up to you coming in for Love. your first radio. Thank you. Let's go.